Honey Creek serves up a wide variety of beers at both their brew pub in Lower Burrell and at their second unique location tucked away in a grocery store. We're in the heart of all the little towns around here. It's almost a perfect location. Um, we're on a major highway around here um, for in and out, going to Pittsburgh or going, you know, any the outskirts of this area. It's a small footprint here. We get a ton of local support, which is what we're looking for. A lot of, a lot of regulars, a lot of people that made friends here, um, a lot of local connections. It's just a great, great atmosphere. The name comes from the Conequinesson Creek. So I grew up outside Evans City in Ford Township, Pennsylvania. The, the creek runs through the valley. So me and my buddy came back from Montana and started brewing beer. I was like, yeah, hey, we'll call it Conny Creek Brewing. It's kind of a joke. And then I was like, started going to like homebrew shows and all the like beer fest stuff. And it kind of just stuck. And I was like, well, I guess we kind of got to stick with it, even though we're not near the Conequinesson. That's fine. No big deal. People have accepted. There's only been a few people that are like really questioning me about it. So. For some reason, lagers and IPAs are our biggest sellers. Lighter beers and IPAs are our biggest sellers. We kind of brew all over the board. Uh, we just did a Saison today with some good bill of spelt malt and wheat malt. Now that hasn't been like a typical style that everybody's crazy about here, but I'm trying to just push into like a little bit maybe new market um, and try to get people to turn the corner on it. Brew a lot of Belgians, and now it's like that's another thing. Like you brew a Belgian, people just straight up wouldn't drink it, but if you put fruit in it or you do something else, then now it's one of our big sellers. So we do a bunch of different series where you add different fruits, whether it's a sour or a Belgian. We do a dessert coffee stout, imperial stout, um, with different flavorings. Hazy IPAs, obviously. Just brewed uh, American pale ale, like traditional style, but we used uh, hop oils in it, and it came out really, really clean and refreshing. Um, just a nice change of pace from the little bit sweeter, a little bit heavier hazy IPA. But yeah, we brew everything. Barrel age stuff I'd like to get into more, it's just we're kind of limited on space, so. Our second location in Saxonburg, about 25 minutes from where we're at right now. So it's inside of a grocery store. Pretty sure it's the first one in Pennsylvania. A brewery, like an actual brewer inside the store. I know other states have it that way, but it's kind of a cool idea. And the fact of like, you're getting constant traffic from people grocery shopping, uh, and you could just see the momentum. It was insane, like people buying more growlers. You, they have them in their grocery cart, they're pushing them, and then they just pull off to the right and come in and get a growler fill, or they come in look look at the six pack cooler. And we do have enough room for about 35 people in there. It's just like a normal like little pub setting. And actually when you're in there, it doesn't even feel like you're in a grocery store unless you're facing out. One of the cool things about Connie Creek being in this store is it's, it's like a wow factor. Like people come in and they're like, okay, so there's the ice cream. Okay, there's a beer. And it's, it's, it's cool because it, it creates a new social experience. When you're in the store, you might see your friend you haven't seen in five months. You say, hey, let's go, to the, let's go over. And so we call them orphans, but all these carts are outside and, he, and everybody's inside drinking. And there's like milk and whatever, but they don't care. They, you know, they go inside, have a good time to come out and check out. But it just creates a whole new experience inside the grocery store. And again, it's about community. It brings people together. It's just me and my wife running the business. So it's like, we want something small, something kind of convenient where we're gonna get a lot of to-go sales. Or if somebody wants to pop in for a couple of beers and a quick bite, that's, I mean, our, our ticket time and our kitchen's pretty quick, so it's kind of like what we were going for. Working with my wife is, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, she runs the kitchen, she runs the books, she manages everybody. I just make beer and I try to sell beer. I just quit my full-time job when we opened the other location and just, we're all in now, 100%, so it's, it's been great. Having a young family and a young business, it's risky, I guess, but we wouldn't be doing it if we didn't believe in ourselves and we didn't get the community support. I mean, it's unreal. 
Everything we do is very conservative, so I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon. So I always tell everybody, if you're getting into this business to make money, that's a bad, bad idea. It's more of a lifestyle. I mean, you'll make money, but you, it's a lifestyle. This, this, this business is a lifestyle. You put your heart and soul into it. It's not just about money. That's, that's the big thing. This was a passion of mine and uh, it grew into a business and I knew it would. My wife knew it would a long time ago. It just took time as uh, young adults. So, but yeah, the future's, future's bright. Third location, not right now. <laughs> third people are like, yeah, your third location. I'm like, nah, not for a while yet. So, but who knows? might change.